What's up guys? Welcome into the CBD Exchange online channel. Here we are today from the Elite Rehabilitation Institute in Braidwood, Illinois, and I'm with Dr. Jason Lamarche. How you doing? Today we're going to talk about CBD and the chiropractic field. Boom! Jason, thanks for coming by today, man. It's good to see you. Great ya. to be here. Let's talk a little bit about CBD and the chiropractic field. Well, to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about just CBD here with your customers and are you currently offering it to your customers? What kind of products do you carry? Um, and, and I guess for me, what kind of feedback are you getting from the customers when you present CBD as an option in place of say, Big Pharma? Yeah, so we started offering this product um, probably six to nine months ago. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple different brands that we use. Designs for Health is one of ours. Um, and we're talking because, you know, me and you have sure. one of the same interests, but mm -hmm. um, we probably started six to nine months ago, like I was saying, and it's been phenomenal. The feedback from the patients is amazing because people are terrified with this whole opioid crisis thing. And people don't want to take pain, uh, pain medication in general because right. they've heard all the different things that are happening. People are dying. It's Unfortunately, like the opioid thing is now the leading cause of death of people under 50 in the United States. Wow. So it's a real thing. Yeah. Um, and it's not necessarily all the doctor's fault. You know, I mean, I think the doctors want to do a lot of good for a lot of people. But mm -hmm. what's happening is they're just uh, big pharma has gotten out of control. And uh, essentially, they've lied to the public about the risk of addiction. They've lied to the public about like when it's safe to take it. Um, you know, typically like with this opioid thing, you should take it post-surgical or if you have cancer and post-surgical, they say you should take it for three days only. That's what's recommended. <laughs> right. Yeah. Three days. And yeah. people are getting just, I mean, Absolutely. bags full of this stuff from their doctors. Doctors are going to jail for it because they are getting, you know, a, a lot of money from it. Not all the doctors are like this, you know, be clear on that part, but it's, it's crazy, man. It's gotten yeah. out of control. And this is a phenomenal product that actually does help heal the body. Um, people just have to, I think, get over the stigma. Yeah, the stigma. Because people too, that right? have never, uh, you know, people that have never actually smoked marijuana or anything right. before, when they hear about it, they're like, I don't know about that. Like, is it safe? What do you well, think? Well, so and again, with CBD, what I always find is, you know, CBD is is the non psychoactive component of cannabis. Right. So yeah. nobody's getting high here. Nobody is, you know, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. We're, we're using a natural product here to treat things like anxiety, stress, inflammation. And with CBD, you're not getting those horrible side effects that you get yeah, correct. From, from those big pharma medicines. Yeah. And, and, you know, on the site I mentioned about my story, you know, when, when I went to a doctor 20 years ago and I, you know, said, hey, I'm struggling from anxiety. What can you do for me? And instead of maybe doing a drug test, finding out what's really going on there. They just got out that pad and started and writing those that, scripts. That's what they're taught though. Right? And I'm telling you that it is, but that's where things unraveled for me, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, man, that was tough to get through that. Oh, I'm sure. And, yeah. and, and I tell you, without the CBD, uh, I, I don't know where I would be today. So, so awesome. Talk a little bit about you know, the, the inflammation aspect and, and treating the inflammation and, and the feedback that you're getting from right. the customers. Yeah, so the, I mean, inflammation is one of the, probably the main cause of most conditions that people have, mm -hmm. right? Inflammation, you could attribute that to, I mean, the diet, I mean, the stress levels, people aren't sleeping well enough. Mm -hmm. So inflammation causes a lot of problems. It makes everything worse. And with CBD, like the main reason why I started using it was because of that aspect of it was it was anti-inflammatory, right. right? I mean, we use a lot of other products now that are anti-inflammatory, turmeric or curcumin right. being one of them, very, sure. very powerful. So there, I mean, foods in general, even with medications, medica like medications typically are developed from foods, from nature. Right. They even send people like to, you know, South America and hang out with shamans and stuff and find out like, right. what do you exactly. use for this condition? They find it and then they take that and they create it in the lab. So, I mean, uh, metformin is a diabetes drug that actually comes from a lily. Uh, Coumadin is a drug, is a blood thinner, right? But that's, that actually comes from green leaves. Mm -hmm. So when somebody's cutting their grass, that smell is, right. is Coumadin, Coumarin. <laughs> that's cool. So Coumarin, but I mean, same thing with CBD. So it's very, very powerful. You can find very powerful products absolutely. or, or uh, compounds in nature. Sure, you um, can. yeah, absolutely. Well, and what's interesting, like I was telling you, when I was taking my big pharma meds, I'm taking 600 milligrams a day yeah. to function, ladies oh, yeah. and gents. Oh, yeah. and, and that is a tough thing to do. 
And, and it's amazing that I've been able to find an all natural product that's got that much gusto and that it's very, power. It's very that powerful power stuff. to it. Yeah. Um, where, where I've been able to eliminate all that nasty medicine. So it's been life changing for me. And that's that's fantastic to hear that it's it's changing lives for your, your patients. And that's yeah. actually when I do present this product to them, that's what I tell them. Like, do you see anything wrong with turmeric? They go, no, of course not, right? Turmeric right. is an herb or whatever. Right. Um, and, I, and I tell them like, it's the same type of thing. It's a plant compound right. with medicinal properties. Exactly. And that's that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's all that it is. And to me, it's just crazy nowadays that that I can go walk into a store and, and just buy all these harmful drugs for myself with all these crazy side effects. And, and nobody's really talking a lot about that. And, and I think that's really, you know, the problem. Well, they talk about it in their commercials, but when they do, it, it's very, very fast. And they put somebody who's running through a field who's smiling, right? Right, right exactly. So you don't, your brain doesn't really well, catch Well, what, I, what I really like about the big pharma medicines is they'll do the commercial, and then at the very end, they'll say, well, and the side effects are possible heart attack, possible, I mean, it's yeah, crazy. It's just gotten out of control. Yeah. So, so another thing I know when I first started talking to you and you first started presenting CBD as an option to your patients, one of the things that that the patients were a little hesitant in is okay well could i possibly pop on a drug screen right could this happen you know and if it is going to happen then i'm not going to use the mm -hmm. product correct talk yeah. a little bit about that is that um yeah have so you the, had a lot of kind of pullback on yeah, that well or? from from people that are uh union right because they get like a lot of random right. drug tests sure so yeah i mean that's definitely one thing there are products that don't contain thc right, right? and thc right. is the one thing that they screen for it's not cbd right correct um and once we get once we take that you know that mm -hmm. worry out of it then it's then it's fine then well and the one thing that people need to understand about cbd so a quality third third party lab tested oh. cbd product always yeah. will have a level of thc in it of 0.3 percent or mm -hmm. less okay now typically that's not going to pop on a drug screen, but it depends. It, it just depends on the type of drug screen that they're doing. So there is a possibility. So what I've had to add, what I've had to do on my site is I've added a THC free CBD product. All right. So there isn't even 0.3% in the product. It's THC free across the board yeah. and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna pop on a drug screen. So you and I can possibly get together and, and talk about that product as well. Just that'd be a good one to at least have. Yep. So Absolutely. it eliminates that concern. Yeah. Awesome. Um, the other, I think one of the other questions that you had is, you know, really it's it's an unregulated product right now, mm -hmm. CBD. So everybody pretty much at this point is saying we have CBD, right? So I would caution people uh, if there's no third party lab testing on the product, do not buy it. Just simply. You could say the, the same thing with most products like in the supplement industry though like even if you were to go to you know whatever the dollar store let's say or gnc like right. you don't know what you're buying if it's not third party tested i don't think anybody should buy it right correct no i agree i mean you have to see what's in there yep you just have and to. that's that's the reason why a product will be more expensive is because there's actually more testing that goes right. that goes into it right exactly. i mean you can make something for really cheap but if you don't know what's in the bottle you're not right. getting anything like there's people when they did uh, they did studies where they would just randomly pull things off shelves and they would actually test what was in the bottle and a lot of times what was written on the bottle wasn't even in the bottle That's right crazy. so i mean people are yeah. just wasting their money and it doesn't even matter what the cost is on the product right. there's company there's there's businesses out there that'll sell 60 80 100 dollar bottles of supplements right and there's nothing in it <laughs> right well and it's funny because you came to me too and you said hey what's this hemp seed oil yeah you know isn't that isn't that comparable to cbd guys hemp seed oil is not cbd it is not cbd hemp seed oil is made by crushing hemp seeds there is absolutely no medicinal benefit from hemp seed oil other than probably enhancing your quality of sleep it's not going to treat inflammation. It's not going to do those things like CBD is going to do. So that's kind of the difference as to where we're at. So listen, I really enjoy you getting together with me today. It's been amazing to just sit here and pick your mind for a brief period of time and good time and get your knowledge. And um, I look forward to working with your office in the future. Uh, I think we can provide some outstanding products for you guys. For sure. And yeah. um, for anybody looking to, in the Briarwood area that's looking to get a quick, uh, I've said that wrong. 
in the Braidwood area that's looking to get a quick adjustment, come on and see my buddy Jason LaMarche.